finding a job offer from outside Europe appears to be one of the major stumbling blocks when it comes to migrating. Uh, in this short video, I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guidelines of how you can migrate to the UK, Austria, Portugal, and the Netherlands without needing to have a job offer from your home country. Contrary to what a lot of people do not know, you can move to one of these countries without needing to have a job offer. And I'm going to explain a different pathway to you today. Uh, the first pathway that you can use to migrate to one of these countries is what is known as the UK uh, Global Talent Visa. The UK Global Talent Visa, in my opinion, is, uh, is an opportunity that a lot of people are not exploiting. A lot of people are not taking, a lot of people are not uh, taking uh, uh, advantage of this opportunity. Uh, what is the UK Global Thailand Visa and how can it benefit you? Well, the UK Global Thailand Visa is a visa that is designed for people with uh, exceptional talent. It allows the individual to come to the UK without needing to have a job offer from your home country before you come to the UK. And you do not need to have English language proficiency test. And believe it or not, after just three years of living and working in the UK, you will be able to apply for permanent residence. And one year after applying for permanent residence, you will be able to get your British citizen. So if you come into the UK under the Global Talent Visa, in just four years, you could obtain British citizen and you will be able to take your family with you to come if you come to the UK on this route. So if you have skills such as IT, engineering, architecture, fashion, movie filmmaking, uh, research, you should consider the UK Global Talent Trail because that is a fantastic opportunity for you to legally migrate to the UK with your family and you do not need to have a job offer uh, from your home country. I have le I've left links in the description section of how you can use this opportunity to move to the UK. If you want to read up on this, you can read up on this. This is a fantastic opportunity to move to the UK and you will be able to uh, come to the UK and you will be able to uh, work in either IT, fashion, film, architecture, engineering, uh, 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 and research. You only need to have an endorsement from one of the home office uh, designated endorsed body once your application has been endorsed by one of these bodies, you will be able to come to the UK under the UK Global Talent Visa. The UK Global Talent Visa is one of the first pathways that you and your family can use to legally migrate to the UK. You do not need to have a job offer from your home country and you do not need to have English language proficiency test as well. And at the same time, you will be able to come to the UK under this pathway. And in just three years, you will be able to apply for permanent residence. And one of the fantastic things about the Global Talent Visa is that there is no, uh, the limitation is, is quite, it's not, as, it's not as rigid as the other one. For instance, if you come to the UK under the uh, sponsorship visa, you will need to stay with one employer and it's the process of changing employers is very, very rigid. The UK Global Talent Visa, if you came into the UK on this pathway, you will be able to switch employer, you'll be able to go to school if you want, and you only need one of the endorsing body to endorse your application for you to be able to come to the UK. So if you have any question, leave your question in the comment section. How can I apply? Well, Gladys, uh, there, I've left a link in the description section about the UK Global Talent Visa. Go read up on that link. If you have any questions, you can leave your questions there. So, so I need a fully funded scholarship. Well, I've done videos on how to obtain fully funded scholarship. Uh, uh, you can also look at that as well in Australia, New Zealand, uh, uh, Ireland, 
and uh, Italy as well. I've done a scholarship program on that. So the first pathway of the four pathways that I'm going to share with you guys today is the UK Global Talent Visa. This visa allows you to come to the UK if you have exceptional skills in IT, architecture, lecturing, engineering, research, research, uh, fashion, and even filmmaking as well. So if you have exceptional talent in filmmaking, exceptional talent in fashion, you can come to the UK. You just need one of the home office designated uh, endorsed body to endorse your application. That is all you need for you to come to the UK under the UK uh, Global Talent Visa. The second pathway that you, that you can use, can I visit Ireland with UK visa? No, the UK visa, you can go to Northern Ireland. You can visit Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK, but you cannot visit the Republic of Ireland, which is a different country. Israel, that is the question. So what is the person has experience in forklift driving? Well, if you have experience in forklift driving, you will need to have a certificate that is recognized. Having the experience, if you have the experience without a piece of paper that shows that your certificate is recognized, then that is not going to work. You must have a recognized certificate to go with your qualification. Please, sir, what if the person that has experience in forklift driving can? Well, it's not having the experience. Your, having the experience is good, but you must have a recognized trade certificate that shows that you can do that job. So keep leaving your questions. The second pathway that you can use to move to Europe without needing to have a job offer is what is known as the Portugal Job Seeker Visa. The Portugal Job Seeker Visa allows the individual to come to Portugal to look for a job you can stay in Portugal for up to six months whilst looking for a job. And whilst you are in Portugal, you will be able to do a minion job in Portugal. For instance, if you are looking, if you are a welder or you are a plumber or you are an engineer or you're an accountant, if you haven't found a job in your profession, you can take up a job. Maybe you take up a job in Burger Kings or McDonald's or KFC. You will be able to do that until you find a job. You have six months to get a job. Once you get a job in Portugal, you will then be able to move from the job seeker visa to a work permit route. And after living in Portugal for five years, if you have a work permit, you will qualify to apply for permanent resident if you move to Portugal under this platform. So the Portuguese job seeker visa, the visa fee is only 82 euro. It allows you to go to Portugal. I've got links here in the description section, you can take use that link. You will need to fill that link to complete what they call expression of interest. Expression of interest is your way of indicating to the Portuguese immigration that you wish to come to Portugal to look for work. And once they give, they will then give you the go ahead for you to proceed to apply. And you will take up all your document that you need, your bank statement, police report, and you also need uh, to have a valid passport. A health insurance, you go to the Portuguese embassy in your own country to apply for the visa. And once you are given the visa, you first of all be given four months. And after four months, it will be extended for two months. And after six months, you got six months of, of living and working in Portugal, looking for a job in Portugal. Once you then find a job, you then be able to move from the job seeker visa. Then you move down to uh, the, you move to the, uh, a work permit. So from job seeker after six months, if you get a job within six months, you move to work permit. And after five years of living and working in Portugal, you will get permanent resident. Keep leaving your questions. I will go through your questions shortly. The third option that you can use to move migrate to, to Europe is the Austria job seeker visa. The Austria job seeker visa, in order for you to come to Austria to look for a job, you need to have 70 points. So you will get 20 points if you have a degree that you've done four years course in. You get another 30 points if you've done mathematics or any natural science. And you've got 40 points. Remember, you only need, you only need 70 points. So you get 20 points if you've done four years course. And you've got another 30 points if you've done mathematics 
Yeah, if you've done mathematics or any natural science or technology, you got 20, 30 points. So that's 50 points. And you have another 40 points if you have done a PhD in Austria. If you find a job that you're going to be earning up to between 50 to 60,000 euro, you get another 20 points as you complete. Then if you're going to do something to do with research or innovation, you get another 20 points. If you are, the younger you are on this pathway, you get more points. So you only need 70 points and you will apply for what is known as the red, white, red card. That is the Austria job seeker visa. It allows you to come to Austria to look for job. And once you then find a job in Austria, you will then be able to move from this job seeker to a work permit in Austria. Initially, you'll be given 24 months to come and look for job in Austria. And that is how you can come to Austria on the Austria Job Seeker Visa. It's called Red and Red and White Red Card. It allows the individual to move to Austria to look for job. You had need a minimum of 70 points in order for you to, 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 to apply for this. Once you hit the 70 point, you will then be informed. You will then be, go to the Austria Embassy in your home country. That is where you will apply. So I'm just going to quickly look at some of the questions now before I give you the last one. Uh, what about athletics like running? Well, good day, sir. What about athletics? Well, I, what do you mean by athletics? If you're a professional athletics, then you have to come. They, if you're a professional athletics, are you a registered professional athletics? I can't answer that question. It depends on your age and other factor. I will come down to the questions again. The last option that you can use to legally migrate to Europe without needing to have a job offer from your home country is what is known as the Dutch orientation. The Dutch orientation allows the individual that graduated from a university which is ranked among the first 200 universities in the world, you can go to the Netherlands to look for a job on this platform. You will be able to look for a job in Netherlands. Uh, once you then find a job, you will then be able to move from the job seeker. Well, they don't call it job seeker in the Netherlands. They call it the orientation period. It allows the highly qualified individual to come to the Netherlands to look for a job. And once you find a job, you will be able to move from the orientation years to a work permit. So if you are... If you've got IT skills and you've got engineering skills and you graduated from one of the uh, universities which is ranked among the 200 universities in the world, you will be able to come to the Netherlands under this path. So I've given you four options that you can use to move abroad without needing to have a job offer. The first one is the UK Global Talent Visa, which allows you to come to the UK if you have exceptional talent. And you will come to the UK without needing to have English language proficiency test. You do not need to have a job offer. And with this option, you can come with your family. That's the first one. The second one is the Portuguese job seeker visa, which allows the individual to stay in Portugal for up to six months, searching for a job. Once you then find a job, you then be moved to move from job seeker to a work permit. And after living and working in Portugal for for five years, you will qualify to apply for the Portuguese permanent resident. The third option is the Austra red and red, red and white red card. That is the job seeker visa. You need a minimum of 70 points for you to come to Austria on this pathway. Once you have the 70 points, you'll be able to come to Austria. I will leave links in the description section for you to read up on this program. You only need a minimum of 70 points for you to come to Austria under this pathway. The last option is the Dodge orientation year. That is the one that allows highly qualified individuals to move to the Netherlands to look for a job. And once you find a job in Netherlands, you will be able to move to permanent residence. So those are the four options. I'm going to be looking at the, the messages now. So Joyce, good day, sir. Uh, how can I apply? Well, the job seeker, all these four pathways that I've talked about, go to the description section. I've left links in the description section for you to read up on this pathway and for you to the process that you can need, you will need to apply. Bank account or statement, you will need to. So the good, the, the, all these options, apart from the UK job, uh, uh, global talent, if you have someone in either Portugal, 
Netherlands or Austria who will give a commitment that they will accommodate you, that will help. If you do not have, then you will need to show proof of form that you can support yourself whilst you are in any of those countries until you get a job. That is the answer to that question. I am not, I, I am not a student. How can I apply for, for work for Europe? Well, apply for work for Europe. It depends on what kind of work. That question is too broad. You need to narrow it down. What kind of job are you applying for? You will need to have something that you that the, that the European uh, that the country feels that you can contribute to their economy before you apply. You must have a skill for you to be able to apply. You must have something that you're coming to give them for them to for you to be able to apply. Uh, some someone told me that Northern Ireland, Northern. Northern Ireland accept immigrant very well. Uh, it depends on what you mean by the immigration in the UK is controlled by the government in London. So I don't know how true that is. Can I use a teacher certificate in the global talent that teacher certificate or what? If you have if you have got exceptional talent in mathematics, you could you can you may stand a chance, but teacher certificate said no. You must have exceptional talent to be able to apply to the to the global talent. Thank you, uh, blessing Charles. Thank you very much. Please, sir. What of the person that has experience in forklifting? Experience in forklifting. You need to have a trade certificate for you to be able to apply on that one. Uh, what maker? Please, sir. What of the person? Okay. Uh, can I visit Northern Ireland? You can visit Northern Ireland. You can visit Northern Ireland, but not the Republic of Ireland. Uh, Please, I need a fully funded, fully funded scholarship. I, there are a lot of scholarship. I have done a lot of scholarship on how to get scholarship in Italy, uh, 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 Luxembourg, New Zealand, Australia. Go to the go to our page. You'll be able to see a lot of scholarship programs that we've done. Can I move to the UK? Uh, give this up. So that, those are the four pathways that you can use to apply to come to the U to to. to to move abroad without needing to have a job, a job, a job offer, you can use a global talent visa. That doesn't require you to have a job offer. You don't need English language. You can come to the UK. You need to have exceptional talent in either uh, technology, architect, engineering, research, uh, uh, fashion, film. You must have exceptional talent, and you only need one of the endorsing body to endorse you to come to the UK. On that first, on that one. You can also come to the Portuguese job seeker visa. You can move to Portugal without needing a job. And you can also come to uh, Austria uh, with, through the Austria red and red white car, which allows you to come and look for work in Austria. You can also go to the Netherlands as well. Social worker. Okay, gladly, if you are a social worker, I am a social worker in the UK with more than... Uh, uh, more than uh, uh, 15 years experience. If you're a social worker, you can email me. Uh, leave your comment in the gladness. I will respond to your comment. If you're a social worker, I can tell you how you can come to the UK as a social worker because I'm a social worker myself. When you say social worker, are you a social worker that is registered with a social work, the social work body in your country? Because I think there's this misconception that people have that social work in abroad, anybody can do social work. No. In order for you to do social work in England, you must have a degree in social work and you must be registered with the social work body in your home country. So if you are from Nigeria, you must be a registered member of the social work body in Nigeria. You must have a degree in social work. Social work is not, is not support work. It's not something that anybody can do. You must have a degree to be able to do that in here. I need more, more information on the... Okay, uh, Ebenezer, there are links in the description section. You will need to go and read up on that. I'll read up on the links on the requirement of the uh, job seeker visa. Just go to the description section. I'll leave all the links there for you to read. So I approve a fund of 5 million guarantee. 5 million, which country currency? If you're talking about Nigeria currency, 5 million Naira now, it's, it's like nothing. 5 million Naira now, it's today rate is about... To, that's about uh, 2,400 pounds. That is nothing. Uh, that is nothing. Uh, maybe 10 years ago, 500, 500, 5 million was a, a lot of money. But today, with the current rate of almost 2,000 dollar, 2,000 naira to, 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 to one uh, pounds, that is nothing at all. Please kindly send me your. But I can only send you. Okay, Gladys, I'll, res Gladys, I'll respond to you. That's fine. I'll respond. 
So guys, I'm go I go 30 seconds now before I leave. So leave all your comment in the comment section and share this video with anyone that you know will benefit. I have explained to you four pathways that you can use to move to the UK, Austria, Portugal, and the Netherlands. And you do not need to have a job offer from your home country to move in one of these pathways. So leave your comment. I will be coming online maybe once a, once or twice a week. I'll be coming online around three o'clock. Uh, UK time, and I'll take all your questions. Leave all your questions in the in the in the question section. I will get back to you. As long as you have a mobile phone and internet, be rest assured that myself and the team will give you the information that you need to achieve your migration dream. For you to be able to legally migrate abroad, information is the key to any successful migration journey. Make sure you encourage your family and friends to subscribe to the Launch Club. We want to help as many people as possible to legally migrate by giving them the information to achieve their goal without needing to spend money on lawyers or agents. Thank you so much for all your time. Have a nice weekend, guys. I'm releasing a video tomorrow on how to migrate to how to migrate to a Luxembourg as a seasonal worker. The average seasonal worker in Luxembourg and almost 2,500 euros, and I'll show you how you can get a job as a seasonal worker and move to Luxembourg. I'll see you guys soon. May God bless.